everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me in this video today. Today I've got kind of like a collective haul for you guys. I went shopping about a week and a half ago and I just picked up um, a collection of different things, some beauty, some clothing, some accessories. So I wanted to share those with you guys today, just in case you were inspired by anything I bought, then you guys can go out and get it for yourselves. So I'm gonna start off, I think, with beauty, and then I'll show you the clothing and accessory part of this haul at the end. So I've got it all in a really cute box here. <laughs> Uh, the box has actually got a pug on the front uh, that Nika gave me, so thank you Nika for the box. The first thing I picked up was this small cosmetics bag. I love the colour of it, it's a really like pale pastel pink and then it has a rose gold zipper down the front. Very very cute. I actually saw this collection, I've got another item from this collection as well. I saw this collection on Instagram, it's by Catrice and they partnered up, I do believe it's a designer, I'm going to put my glasses on and I'm going to say this name so wrong, but it is Catrice Limited Edition Marina Hermanzida. Hermanzida beauty bag. So I saw this collection on Instagram and her collection has this kind of belt design going through the whole collection and I saw this on Instagram and I just thought it was super super cute just to put some of my essentials in my handbag day to day or when I'm traveling on a plane I like to have a small cosmetics bag again with essentials in my hand luggage that's not too bulky so I thought this would be perfect for that and I am going to Mexico in just over two weeks. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Um, so this is going to be perfect to pop in my travel bag. Also from the same limited edition collection, um, and I was really surprised that these were still on the stand because normally these kind of products are the first ones to go, but it is the highlighting pearls. And look how cute this packaging is. It looks a lot more expensive than it is, especially just from looking at the packaging. It has gorgeous, this gorgeous rose gold belt across the front, so I love that that feature goes through the whole limited edition line. Uh, yeah, and it's just like a clear plastic with this white lid. It has another plastic protection um, top on the top of the pearls and then it has these iridescent pearls inside really really pretty I haven't actually used any pearl I used to have like a pearl um, face powder pearls like a blush pearl thing um, but I haven't actually used these pearls for ages and I've actually used this on my face today and it just gives a really soft gentle highlight. I am trying to n naturalize my makeup looks uh, from now on. I just decided these kind of full glam, you know, Instagram worthy looks, they're just, I just don't think they're for me. I do appreciate them so much and you know, it takes a lot of talent to create some of the looks that you see. But I just think I'm more of like a day-to-day -day kind of makeup wearer. She says wearing a bright red lip. Um, but still, um, I love that this highlight is really gives a really soft sheen to the skin. Um, and it was really inexpensive. I'll try and leave the price of these products in the description box below. I have the receipt somewhere, I'm sure. So um, if I can do that, all the prices of these items will be listed down below. But yeah, that is the highlighting pearls from Catrice. The next beauty products that I picked up are based around primers and setting sprays. So the first primer that I picked up is by NYX. This is the NYX Pore Filler. And I have noticed recently that, not necessarily here, but more down here, as the day goes on, I can see the my pores coming through my foundation. So I'm not sure if my pores have enlarged or if I've just never noticed it before. So I got this, the uh, consistency, I used it today on my face. It does feel really nice on the skin, but the consistency is a little bit different to anything I've used before. So as you can see, it is quite thick in consistency, but it has that really silicone feeling to it, which means it should really fill in at the pores nicely. Um, it leaves the skin feeling super soft as well, so yeah, at the moment, on first impression, I did like how that felt on my skin. Also from NYX, I picked up this NYX First Base Primer Spray, and it has a little detail of the product on the back. Um, it says that the NYX First Base Primer Spray is a lightweight mist that creates a smooth, 
canvas for impeccable makeup application. So what I did was put, I put the um, pore filling primer on first, um, more generously in these areas, and then I just spread the excess product around my face. Then I sprayed my face with this. It gave a really soft, uh, a gentle spray to the face. It wasn't as like, tsh as setting sprays, but it did feel really nice and it did feel really lightweight on the skin and then I applied my makeup on top of that. So I bought this to try because I've never tried a primer spray before. And lastly I picked up two different setting sprays. So I picked up this one from NYX. This is the NYX Dewy Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray and this one is the Essence Keep It Perfect Makeup fixing spray. So I just got these to try because I always love my MAC Fix Plus. I have also tried the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray which is really really good. It is more on the pricey side. I do believe it's around 26 euros. The Fix Plus is around 21 euros. Um, so I picked up these to try. The NYX was more expensive than the Essence one so I got both to see how they, you know, worked on the skin um, and this one is a dewy one which I've never tried before I've always only had matte fixing sprays so I haven't tried this one yet today I actually used this one by Essence it had a, it had a weird not a weird smell but a different smell to other setting sprays a little bit more chemically um, but it didn't leave any residue on my skin. I remember trying the L'Oreal setting spray, absolutely awful. It left like a cast of white powder over my skin, it was awful. Um, this one was really light, um, and yeah, it didn't leave any residue whatsoever. Um, I'm not sure how long it makes your makeup last, because I haven't had it on that long, but hopefully it works, and even if it doesn't, it wasn't expensive. But so far, I, my skin feels really nice. Okay, moving on to clothing, I picked up three really lovely jumpers from H&M. I definitely had more of a spring vibe in mind because we've had some really lovely weather here in Bochum last week. It's not very nice at the moment, but we had some lovely weather that got me in the spring mood um, and it would have been really good weather to wear a really lightweight jumper with no coat. Not really t-shirt weather, but a nice lightweight jumper. So the first one I picked up was this here. Um, it's a really lovely loose material. It kind of has like a, a light knitting effect to it. It's, it is a little bit see-through, I guess you'd say. Uh, but it's in a, this really lovely blush pink colour that I'm really into at the minute. I used to always wear black, but I'm really into more light colours at the moment. Um, so yeah, it's got a lovely v-neck at the top. Um, it's got slightly curled up sleeves, just very loose and casual, um, but can also give quite a, you know, a nice little feminine chic look, depending what you pair it with. Um, but yeah, definitely easy to wear. Then I picked up this jumper here, it's in this light grey colour, and it has, um, like, how do you say it? It's not ribbed, but it has these, like, horizontal lines all the way through it, it just gives a nice touch to the to the design. Um, it has three quarter length sleeves that are quite loose at the end. Um, again, it is quite loose at fitting, but what I love about this jumper is the hemline around the whole jumper. The neckline is stunning. It's super flattering to the body. The hem on the sleeves is also really clean. Um, yeah, I just love it, and especially the hem at the bottom. I'll try it on now so you can see what I mean. But this hem at the bottom, I don't even know how to describe it. It's so elegant, um, and I think this jumper looks a lot more expensive than it was. The first jumper I showed you was $14.99. This jumper was $24.99. It's a, such a steal, um, and it just looks so classy on, in my opinion. And lastly, I picked up another light pastel jumper. This one is a little bit more peachy than the first one. Again, it's really loose fitting. I wore it on my birthday, it needs to go in the wash, but I wanted to show it in this video, so it's not been in the wash yet. So you might have seen this on me already in the pictures from my birthday, um, but this looked gorgeous. I paired this with white jeans and a pair of nude court heels, and the heels and the jumper matched perfectly, it was perfection. Um, so yeah, I wore this for my birthday. I love this little detail on the sleeve. Uh, it has a little cap sleeve there. 
Um, again, a very loose fitting, but looks just looks really chic on. And for me now, really age appropriate, I've got to say. Um, again, I like the neckline. It's not like a turtleneck, but it is a more higher neckline. And at the bottom, it has this kind of knitted effect across the hem, um, which just gives a little bit of extra detail to the jumper. And this jumper cost $19.99, so again, a really good price for a lovely jumper that I know I'm going to get so much wear out of. And the last thing I picked up in this haul were these earrings and I also wore these on my birthday and I got so many compliments on them and I think it's because they are a little bit different so they have like a small loop within a bigger loop um, I will do a close-up so you can see but yeah they, they're just something a little bit different to the standard loop because I was going to buy just loop earrings hoop earrings I really like hoop earrings um, and then I saw these and I saw that they were a little bit different so I picked these up I got so many compliments on them and these earrings cost $6.99 that is everything that I picked up on my little little shopping trip let me know what pieces you liked or what beauty products you have tried in the description box below and let me know if you guys have picked up any nice products lately or clothing lately um i'm always on the lookout for uh, you know new clothes new makeup etc so i would love your advice as well if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel hello and welcome i'm sean velasquez i'm so so happy to have you here in our YouTube family and I will see all you guys in my next video. Until then, ich liebe euch. I love you guys. Bye.